it's going to be really good in that sense. And I'm excited for how this match will play out between Gran versus Cagliostro. Yeah, so uh, I, I'm actually expecting Belial. Um, okay. I think this is a button check. I could be wrong. I'm expecting Belial okay. from Kilo um, in this matchup in particular. But, okay, so it's definite button check. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but but uh, good good on them for DC and good pads. But yeah, so I got I got to talk about this. So so Zombie was considered to be the favorite for America for this tournament because of his previous tournament results as of recent, right? Yep. Zombie has very specifically won the only two offline events uh, at recently at a at a major, right? But no, neither of those majors were as big as this. Yeah. Neither of those majors had the level of play being personified right now. And you can tell because Zombie's in losing bracket, yeah. right? On the other side though, running into Kilo, whom you've probably seen in the results for a lot of Grand Blue Fantasy versus tournaments is uh, getting Ws or always making top eight, right? And a lot of time losing to Zombie. A lot of those matches between the two, so it's great to see now we're offline. The training weights are Character off, select. and we're going to see how this plays Belial. out in a big different setting. So like you said, there's the Belial not mm -hmm. wanting to take out the, the Grand here. And I like that pick. It's, it's, it's a hard really matchup. Yeah. <laughs> I, like, I, I feel like, so like, so like Belial is Kilo's pick for, for when he runs into very specific matchups, yeah. right? Cagliostro is one of them. Mm -hmm. So I don't blame him. Uh, you know, if you haven't watched Grand Blue Fantasy Versus in a while, you're, you're trying to like, you're, you're probably wondering like, wait, I thought, I thought Grand was OD, what happened? He still does the same amount of damage, but his neutral game is, uh, is, is struggling. Yeah. He's been changed, you know. Belial, he's a very similar character to Grand. Um, when he first came out, we used to call him like a super Shoto because he was just a Shoto character, but everything was like dialed up to 11, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> what if Ryu can like throw a Hadouken and then tell the Hadouken to stop? Yeah, yeah what what if if not, not just tell the Hadouken to stop, but also have the Hadouken create a bigger hitbox yeah. after it stops, right? Like, and, <laughs> and one that hole. persists, yeah. <laughs> what if Ryu was the character that had the anti fireball moves and just everything here? So we'll see how it goes here as Kilo coming through versus um, Zombie. It's going to be fun in this set, and now we're just going to play the spacing at the start. And the first oh, knockdown, no. though, comes the zombie, now gets to set the trap. Yeah, so th those spikes are really, really strong as an anti-zoning tool, right? And and Belial has the best fireball in the game, bar none. There's, there's no exceptions, right? And so, because of that, it's um it's it's really hard for uh, for a lot of characters to deal with it, but Cagliostro has one of the best tools for it, which is that spike. Now, what Kilo does versus these webs that are on the ground is a very important thing to note because that is either going to give Zombie information that he can just kind of do stuff with impunity, but what a reaction with the Skybound Art and the Fireball! That's been something that Zombie's been super clean at. Just always calling out people who are trying to just go out zone him. So now it's a hit. Oh, it's a hit combo, but it's still pressure. Okay. Kilo now going in. A well, nice challenge there from Zombie. Beautifully done. Yeah, I, I want to say that was probably a fuzzy match from Zombie. You know, he's a big proponent of that stuff. Uh, and I mean, if, if, if you don't have enough room to, to walk forward, like, I mean, if you do if you do have enough room to walk forward, there's, there's very little reason not to do it. Yep. Oh, Zombie's always strongest trait. It's gonna be that defense. Very hard to open up in a lot of senses. Kilo getting some good throws, getting some good pressure here, but Zombie is patient if anything. Yeah, I think I think I think Kilo is actually showing the, the checks that Zombie has a lot of trouble with. Uh, so so like while Zombie's defense is incredibly strong and a lot of times Kilo specifically is using sweep on situations where Zombie might walk back. Because Zombie loves to walk back because he's stand blocking, right? Um, so, and you just you just kind of mix up those throws. You haven't gone for universal overhead yet, right? So with all these throws yeah, happening, okay. universal overhead is now on the table. Yeah. He's he's doing very very delayed through M's. I feel like Kilo really really went in with a game plan on the guard string too. Yeah, I mean, you can't ask for a better two M. Oh yeah, when yeah. You're coming this character even, so it's like plus on block. It's such a good low, and you're moving in. Nice teleport out of the corner, gets the grab into the trap. He's gonna get that nice knock down. And now we're just gonna see this pressure from Zombie. He cast a lot of damage, keeping Kilo in the corner. That was a really good crossover to be able to get past Whoa! all the ants here. Unfortunately, did not get the hit of Asago. So, but still, like you said earlier, it's still pressure. You still put Zombie in the corner. This is great for Kilo. You gotta look at the teleport. Oh, so yeah, like that. Jumps in. Nice. I love this doing the dodge as well. When doing pressure. Oh! Two years, you're gonna cash out. Sky too far though. Too far oh no, that's huge damage. Great punish from Zombie. I mean, if you don't survive, it'll be a pixel, right? 
Yeah, I, I, I was I was pretty sure. I mean, if you do survive, it'll yeah. be a pixel. Sorry, but you're not gonna survive. Is what I meant to say. <laughs> So and that, that that's gotta hurt. It was such a beautiful punish on the air teleport. Uh -huh. Just big potential for Kilo, but just that whipping like that and giving Zombie all the time in the world to get such a huge punish. You know, making his own trophy. You know, with Kagoyo's drill, setting up <laughs> all the gold, and now here comes Zombie running that momentum. I gotta imagine he probably won a micro dash before that 5 H, before the super uh, skybound there, right? But I guess, you know, yeah. maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Regardless, it's not gonna matter. Kilo, gotta brush it off, gotta put that pressure. He's been so good with these throws. These throws are just in such a weird timing, the zombie is not reacting to them whatsoever. Oh, Spike's immediate run up teleport. I like to saw the window. Oh, he finally not pressing. We're gonna take this chance to get out. Still with the advantage here. The zombie's gonna take one clean hit, can probably finish this. And put in the space, but now it's on Kilo to finally navigate this. Yeah, and that's why you see Kilo kind of just, just taking a walk, right? You're not you're not running, you're slowing it down, you're waiting. If you do run, you're not trying to run for too long because of that right there, the spike. Yeah. Now the spike is off the table, but the problem is is you're running in front of a web plus Cagliostro being able to do whatever she wants. And that's what I mean by that's a determining factor of how you fight Cagliostro. What you do there determines whether or not you can stop her. Because if you can't deal with those webs, if you can't deal with the rocks, you're going to explode. So right there coming into it. Oh, got to grab the throw this time with the teleport. Going to lose the corner, but I mean, you got your damage, right? Yeah, that's huge. Setting a tone there. It's a hard call out, so it's going to make Kilo kind of maybe have to just not so rely on these grabs, but nice answer. Yeah. Because it looks like Zombie tried to go for that same air teleport. Good call out, good adjustment, and good damage. Yeah, exactly. No, you're 100% correct. Like the fact that that close them came up with an exact call out on exactly what you're talking about, right? Was trying to get away from the throw. And again, Zombie probably looking through the fuzzy match on that one, getting at the throw. So has not gone through for throw after teleport yet. So now that's on the table again. Nice punish, saw you was gonna get rid of the trap. Getting the 2D and then the force, the far heavy. Oh my goodness. Coming right out immediately. That button is like the defining trait of Belial. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is one of the strongest buttons in the game. Far none. And that keeps Kilo alive here. That had to have caught a jump, I feel like, right? That had to have caught a jump because like Zombie normally walks back in that situation, probably trying to jump, but now it's got the hit. That big damage gonna let him fall into the pressure. Teleport into the throw. There's the mix. One more hit from Zombie. Can they find it to finish it off? Oh, With the trap, that's gonna, that's do, gonna it. do it. And Zombie is got the pressure going so hard to deal with Cagliostro stuff on average if you're not able to find a point to stop the webs, right? But the problem is the zombie puts up the webs and then he protects 